Hi guys, I am in Mechelen, Belgium, which is a small town um, in between Brussels and Antwerp actually. And today I've spent the day walking around the city, I actually biked to town, but I first went to the St. Rumbo's Cathedral. They have this really tall tower that you can climb up. There's 538 stairs to get to the top. And the whole tower, the height of the building is almost 100 meters. So anyways, I did that and got to learn a little bit about the history of the church, really the tower, and um, basically it took well, they built it in different stages over like a hundred years about, and it technically was never fully completed. They were supposed to um, put a spire on the top, eventually it never did. But it was interesting to learn about, um, they have these bells inside called Kyrlan bells, um, with a double L, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. And so I learned a little bit about those. Um, Belgium and specifically the city is actually famous for these. And there's very few places that still carry on this tradition. So um, there's actually a school here that's famous for teaching this tradition still. And basically people come from all over the world to learn how to play these bells. There are these giant bells in the tower. But um, if you look at like the machine, it actually looks kind of like a piano and it's connected to these bells and they ring. So back in the day, the church would ring these bells for all so sorts of different reasons, sometimes as a warning, um, like intruders were coming or to advise of something or just because they could play pretty songs. So it was used for all sorts of things. So anyways, that was cool to learn about. Um, and after checking out the tower and the church, I walked to the main square. Every city has a main square, so it's always really nice. Um, a lot of buildings and cafes around and more like uh, pretty architecture and historical buildings. So walked around there and then walked down the street that has all the shopping, which also seems like every city has that as well, the main kind of district for that down the street. Um, and I briefly stopped in a bar to check out the um, World Cup game because Argentina was playing. I only caught the very end and they tied, so too bad they didn't win, but only the first game. So, so a little bit of that. And then I walked back down to the canal and actually went for a boat ride. So that was nice to see all the sights from the water. Um, and also they had basically like an automated um, narrator on the boat, which would tell you about everything you're seeing. So check that out. Um, also, Belgium is similar to the Netherlands with the canals. Probably not as much, I would say, here as the Netherlands, but they were originally built actually as a defense system um, to protect the city, so that if people were trying to intrude in the city, basically they would have all these barriers to get into the center. So I learned that. Um, some time ago but wanted to fill you guys in and um, now I'm thinking I might stop by at this famous brewery to check it out the tours are over but probably just have a look at the building anyways um, it's famous here and it's been around for like five generations and I also might stop by a um, it's a World War II memorial a museum Again, not that it would be open, but they might have some stuff outside. So I'm gonna take a look and see. Um, tomorrow I'll be heading out, going to London. So getting ready for that. Let me show you guys real quick a little bit of the view before I say goodbye. So back there is the main square. And then back that way is the canal where I did the boat ride. And this is like one of the pretty shopping areas. Um, there is another street beside me, so anyways, you get a view of what I'm looking at. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye here. Um, if I remember some more things about Belgium later on, I will catch you guys up. But um, until next time, talk to you guys soon.